truck's in neutral. We're on Gravity Hill by New Media, Pennsylvania. Some of the things that I got here, half off day. Only paid about $2.50 for this. Still in the box. Cabbage patch puzzle. Another vintage puzzle. Thomas Kincaid. This one I got because it's round. I got because it's almost new. Watermelon plush. This one's animated. Five Nights at Freddy's. Folk Manus Puppet. I got a bunch of vintage panties and lingerie. I'm not going to take them out though. This is new with tags. Well with the uh, Halloween cats, the black cats. Thought he was cute. Sorry if this is quick. This is the Lucky Charm guy. I think he's from the 80s from what I see. Now these plush I only paid a dollar. Got the Philly Fanatic. This one had his jacket so I picked him up. It does have the tag on it and it's a nice size. Got some more, I got some Joe Boxers in there. Picked up this beautiful, beautiful bowl. I don't know if it's marked until I take the tag off. Still very nice. Ouch. I did pay $8 for this. Hopefully it's good shape. I see some that go for between $50 and $75. Some a little less, but this one looks like it's in pretty good shape. I hope so. And he was new. Brand new Care Bears. Or Care Bear. Some kind of panda, just different, so I picked it up. An elephant. You know, I like my plush. I thought he was cute. Another Five Nights at Freddy's. This one's going to be interesting. It's a Ralph Lauren, and you can see the Ralph Lauren pony on there, polo. So I'm pretty excited about that. This bunny I picked up, it's only an applause one, but look at the ears. The ears are so cute. I think I'll do okay with that. And today was half off day and all the green tags were a dollar. This one, I picked it up, it's still brand new and he's a nice size. I like this guy. I did pay two dollars or yeah, two dollars for him. I did pick up two comic books. I know nothing about comics, but I seen the date. Uh, I think this was from the.
This is 1983. Probably nothing. I paid $2 a piece, but I thought, why not pick them up just to see what they'll, you know, go for, if anything. I like trying new things. I did pick up this Scrabble electronic, still in the box. I only paid $2.50 for it. Half off for the puzzles. And this was a um, Schmidt, which is a good brand to get. So I paid $1.50 for this one. I, I spent a little, little bit over $100 today. I did pick up a remote. I picked up two remotes, actually. Some vintage combs. I did pay a dollar a piece for these, but you could see the vintage lady on it. So, still in the packs. Pay $2 for that. I know a lot of people like to collect the Cardinals. I did pick up this soap. It's Avon Cotillion. There's three in here. And I know some soap sells for very good money. And here's the other remote. Now, I did not look these up at all. I just get in there. I don't really look too much stuff up, honestly. Some, well, electronics I do, but I didn't this time. I just picked them up. They were a good price. Castle of Dreams, and I think this one is a Springbok, yeah. So, so that's what I picked up today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. It was a little bit fast and a little bit scattered and erratic, but today I was out, we were out since probably, we left the house around, I don't know, 10 to 9, and it's just been a long day. We probably hit up around four thrift stores, paid up a little bit for some of the stuff, one of the Goodwills, one of their, uh, one of the Goodwills we were at, they had their bags where they're no longer going to be supplying bags. So I guess we'll be taking, uh, having to put some bags and some boxes in the truck because sometimes you can't remember all these stores that do that. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like, leave me a comment and please subscribe. I'll talk to you later. Take care.